The Mystery of Dinosaurs Island Chapter 1 The Mysterious Map Axel, Lara, and Max were deep in exploration within an old, cobweb-laden attic in their neighborhood when they uncovered a weathered, leather-bound atlas tucked away beneath stacks of forgotten books and papers. Eager hands brushed off the dust, revealing its yellowed pages filled with ancient maps of the world. As they eagerly flipped through the atlas, a loose sheet of paper slipped out and fluttered to the floor. Picking it up, they discovered it was a map showing an uncharted island, mysteriously labeled Dinosaur Isle. The map was adorned with drawings of dinosaurs and cryptic symbols that sparked a surge of excitement among the friends. Intrigued by the prospect of an island where dinosaurs might still roam, Axel, Lara, and Max resolved to find this hidden place. Utilizing Axel's chronoband, a futuristic device equipped with satellite connectivity and navigational tools, they consulted with local maritime experts to pinpoint the possible coordinates of the island. With the coordinates set, they prepared for their journey, packing essential exploration gear and boarding a small, sturdy boat. As they neared the coordinates, the island began to materialize on the horizon, shrouded in a thick mist that seemed to whisper secrets of the ages. A thrilling mix of excitement and nervous anticipation filled the air as they approached the mysterious island, ready to uncover its secrets. Chapter 2 Into the Jungle Upon their arrival, the island immediately enveloped them in a symphony of unfamiliar sounds, hinting at the myriad of creatures hidden within its depths. The thick vegetation formed an almost impenetrable wall, concealing the island's true nature. Lara, always alert and observant, confidently led the group, expertly identifying and sidestepping hazardous plants with her extensive botanical knowledge. Max, leveraging his considerable physical strength, took on the role of Pathfinder, forcefully clearing the obstructive undergrowth that tangled their way. His efforts made their advance possible, allowing them to penetrate deeper into the heart of the jungle. The further they traveled, the more astonishing the environment became. They encountered a plethora of vibrant, exotic plants that seemed to defy the rules of nature, painting a surreal landscape around them. Suddenly, their journey took a turn into the realms of the fantastical as they stumbled upon a herd of small, dinosaur-like creatures. These creatures, agile and swift, darted through the dense foliage, blending almost seamlessly into the greenery. Axel, equipped with his chronoband, acted quickly. He began capturing images and gathering data on these extraordinary creatures, his device whirring and clicking with each movement. The unexpected encounter with these seemingly prehistoric beings not only intensified their wonder but also deepened their resolve to explore further. Each member of the trio felt a surge of exhilaration and curiosity, driven by the incredible potential of their discovery, urging them to delve deeper into the mysteries of this primordial landscape. Chapter 3 The Chase as their journey continued, the expedition took an unexpectedly thrilling twist. A massive shadow briefly enveloped them, drawing their eyes upward to the breathtaking sight of a pterodactyl-like creature soaring gracefully across the sky. Captivated by its majestic flight, they eagerly pursued the creature, following it through the dense foliage until they emerged into a clearing. Here, they found themselves at the periphery of a bustling watering hole a vibrant hub where various species of dinosaurs congregated. It was like stepping into a scene from a paleontologist's dream, alive with prehistoric activity. Their awe, however, was swiftly replaced by a surge of adrenaline as the dreamlike scene turned perilous. From the surrounding trees, a large predator, bearing a striking resemblance to a Tyrannosaurus rex, made its grand entrance. Its intense gaze fixed on them, signaling immediate danger. Quick to react, 
Mara grabbed a nearby rock and hurled it to the side, creating a distraction. This quick thinking gave Max and Axel just enough time to scramble to a nearby hiding spot. From their concealed vantage point, they watched, a mix of awe and fear coursing through them as the massive predator redirected its attention and began a vigorous chase after the smaller, more vulnerable dinosaurs. The event was a vivid reminder of the untamed and perilous nature of the island, highlighting the constant danger lurking within its primeval beauty. Chapter 4 Safe Return After the heart-pounding encounter with the island's predators, the trio cautiously made their way back to their boat, their adrenaline still surging but tempered by a sense of exhilaration. Their venture into the uncharted territory had been fraught with danger, but ultimately, it yielded a monumental discovery. They had successfully documented several dinosaur species, offering undeniable proof that the island was a veritable living museum, frozen in the Jurassic era. Upon their safe return home, they were eager to share their findings with the scientific community. However, they were acutely aware of the need to protect their discovery. They carefully withheld specific details about the island's location to safeguard its extraordinary inhabitants from external threats. Their successful adventure stood as a robust testament to their bravery, effective teamwork, and a shared reverence for the wonders of untamed nature. Reviewing their photographs and meticulous notes, Lara, Axel, and Max felt a renewed sense of purpose. Dinosaur Al had not only provided them a vivid glimpse into Earth's distant past, but had also ignited an insatiable curiosity to explore further. They were more determined than ever to venture into unknown territories, committed to preserving the secrets of the natural world for future generations to marvel at and learn from.